Here's how we replace the nasty carpet in our kids' room with vinyl flooring for under 250 bucks. The first step was to calculate the square footage of the room so I knew exactly how much flooring I needed to buy. Next, I needed to rip out all the old carpet, padding, and tack strips. And as with most projects, prep work is key. Here I'm using a razor to make sure I have no residual glue from the padding left on the floor, filling in the nail holes from the tack strips, and then cleaning and mopping the floor really well before applying this self-stick top primer. That's right, the vinyl floor is peel and stick. And before you get in the comments saying, isn't that stuff cheap? Well, no, it's affordable, but it's also extremely easy to work with. As you can see here, I'm laying out all the boards in a staggered pattern. And as you can see here, Emily's just using a sharp razor and a square in order to cut the board. We installed the same kind of flooring in our daughter's room a couple of years ago, and it was actually a little bit cheaper at 99 cents a square foot. Now, thanks to inflation, it's about an extra 30 cents a square foot, but still a very affordable option, especially for a kid's room.